So now Luna is getting in this beast. We're all still alive. Yeah. <laughs> it was very, great. very different, for sure. So tell me about it. This is uh, this is Max Pad 2020. Started right when the Gladiators came out. I tried to be one of the first ones to get her out. Had a vision and uh, gave it uh, to a buddy and hand over a little bit of green and <laughs> said, "This is what I want." And Crash Fab just he did it. He designed it. Went over there for weekends. Probably took us about eight months. Yeah, so it took a little time, but this is what we did. So and tell uh, me about the axles, bumpers. Tell me about the engine, everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, well the engine came a little bit later, but we got the LS3 that was done in Vegas by Sin City Diesel. I wanted to have enough horsepower to, for the weight of this truck and the, everything that I was going to do to it. So now I got uh, some horsepower to turn these Dagon tires. The, this was actually, this is done by Crash Fab. We designed it and built it because what we did was actually cut the frame and got it far back as I could but yet made sure I had enough room to, for the winch so I had a little bit of clearance to go climb walls or when I was coming down. Yeah it looks awesome. Thank you very much. What about the axle? So this is a custom made fusion axle. It is basically four inch housing, three eighths thick metal all the way around. I got reed knuckles, 1550 U joints. Wow. Uh, yeah, they're pretty massive. If you compare them to the regular one, it's just, it's insane. Full hydro, it's just, and then I have the shocks or King 3.0 IPB, so I can adjust it, make it softer or harder, depending if I'm driving it on the road or rock climbing which most of the time it's not on the road because I can't afford to drive it on the road. Yeah. With the gas mileage, I only get about five miles to the gallon. <laughs> Whoa. So I pass everything but the gas station. And you're from California, so that must be expensive. About seven bucks a gallon right this second. Wow. Maybe okay. six seventy or something like that. So it gets pretty yeah, close to insane. Seven. But my buddy Gatekeeper, he makes these three, you know, light mounts that go on top of the knuckles, which are pretty cool because when you go to turn, the light turns go with you, which is Pretty damn yeah, awesome. That's what you need. What about the wrap? The wrap was done, designed by a gentleman in uh, Florida, SFG, which is in San Francisco. They put it on and they put a lot of time and detail in this thing. It was red and being in California and San Francisco, it stood out too much. I had to get, you know, I had to hide a little bit. But these, these are Genrite half doors, which are pretty badass too. Nice. So it looks amazing. But look at this, they got inside this thing. Wow. It's pretty insane. Look at these guys. And then I got clear lids on top. So buddy that rides with me, he's uh, about six foot. And it gives you about three more inches so he doesn't yep. have to worry about hitting his head. Of course, I got designed a rugged radio system. I got it plugged into here. And we'll go on to the other side. You can see where I got it all cut into the, that's in the dash. I got a, the Lynx ARB Lynx system, that's how I can control my lockers and all that stuff. Took wow. out all the Rubicon stuff, added a bunch of switches for all the different lights I have. It's pretty, pretty intense. But if you look underneath, unlike most vehicles, look completely flat. We wow. ripped everything underneath that and was there. And everything is made of aluminum, right? This is all aluminum here. Wow. So when I'm going up, hitting these rocks hard, I'm not grabbing anything. I'm, I come down, I'm hitting something solid because I'm gonna, I'll push it. I'll push yeah. it. Okay, tell Hardline. Us That's how I got the name Hardline. Hardline here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so most glad here. Most gladiators you see, they fill up here. All mine was filled in because from here back, my buddy at Crash Fab, we built this entire back end. It's completely separated. All designed right there to put this bag on 
These are the three point O's and this is 16 inch travel. Wow. So I got, it's pretty crazy. Any rocks, I see any rocks there. Well, they are, but there you can see it's tie strap. I, yeah, you're not I don't, dr right I now. really don't drive any much anymore on the road, so I disconnected them. Power tank, gotta have your airs. So it's, yep. gotta make sure you have your air for airing up and all that. Driving. These are 42s, right? These are 42s. And these are KMC rims, but I'm going to Raceline okay. and BFG tires. So I That's can't wait. It's coming up soon. It's coming up. I've got to wait for them to get here. Yeah. Nobody can get gas. So right here, I took out, we took out 10 inches right here. And then I took six inches out here to give the clearance I could have. So when I'm going up and down, I'm not dragging any. A lot of gladiators, their backing is so long, but not this one. What about these? So these tail lights, I didn't like the big ears that stick out. And being, I got it so new. I always loved the French cut, so we made these at house, you know, in house, designed in aluminum, cut it in, put it up. So much sanding, but I love the look. I've had many people ask me to make them for them, and I said, you would not want to know the cost of what I got oh, into yeah. this, so. Eh. I bet that took you a lot of hours. A lot of, yeah. lot of hours. But, and this is my Instagram, MaxGlad2020. Yeah, guys, make sure to follow him on Instagram. But, so what we did in the back, you can look, such a good cut job, you can't even see on the inside. Wow. And here is, this is where I fill up my tank. This tank here is 25 gallons in the back of this one in the very back. Made sure I had just enough room for my fridge. The essentials, water, just water. Not really, but. <laughs> and anybody knows me, I'm a, I like my horn. I got my train horn, so yeah. So with the LS3. And what's that over there? So with the LS3, they did have where I could use the standard transmission, but I knew I might go supercharger, so we went and put the HP75. That transmission needed a cooler, and I didn't want to put it on the other side yep. because I got all that belly and I'd slam it. So that's my transmission cooler right there. Looks really good right there. Uh, and helps. then you have another power tank here. Oh, yeah. And Just I see a lot of KC lights here. Oh yes, well, I like my lights. I'm sort of old, so I have trouble seeing, so, and I like to go night wheeling. Yeah, of course, we also love lights. So I like the lights. I got a ton of lights. Maybe we'll put them on later on, on the underneath lights. So it's fun. And I just, I like to be able to see where I'm going. Oh yeah. But these are Genrite fenders that we just, my wrap guy, he did so good, you know, look at that. Just heavy details over there. So back on this side, so the tank, that's where my tank is actually. And it's neat, the crash fab built it and put the sway bar actually goes through the gas tank so I can keep everything as high as possible and still get as much tank, wow. 25 gallons. And what axle is this? These are fusions. Bolt? This is a 14 bolt shaved. And fusion just does a hell of a job. Four inch oh, yeah. tubing, super amazing. thick. I mean, I'm pushing some serious horsepower through this sucker and it's yeah even though it grabbed it's not snapping so it's it's great fusion awesome dan from fusion give him a call <laughs> all right thank you so much for everything take it easy guys, guys make sure to follow him on instagram that's his ig right there so make sure to follow him and as always see you on the next video bye